Hi everyone, my name is Ken. Welcome to This House. Today we are in Waterloo, Illinois, exploring a second empire style house built in 1863. This house boasts four bedrooms, three baths, 3,004 square feet, and is currently listed for $285,000. Before we go inside, I want to take a moment to give a huge shout out to Mandy McGuire of Keller Williams Pinnacle for allowing us to film here. If you would like more information on this listing, please check out the link in the description. Let's go inside. As we enter this house, we first come into a vestibule and we'll notice that everything in here is marble. There are solid slabs of marble extending from the floor to ceiling, marble trim along the baseboards and then inlaid marble floor here. And if we look up at the ceiling, we can see that there is an original light and a tin ceiling. So let's keep moving on through this house. And once we're inside, we're now in the parlor and this room is clad in tiger oak, which is a pretty rare wood type. And we can see how lavishly it's been done here in this house, including on the fireplace, both on the lower mantle and the upper mantle. The lower mantle also contains the original cast iron inset with a really fun scene of children playing musical instruments on it. And it's surrounded by the original tile work. There's also the original radiator to the house over here, and these are still functional. So these are steam powered and they heat the home very well in the winter time. So on the other side of the living room is the Newell post, and this has the original light fixture in it. Now, whether or not this would have been gas burning originally, um, it's kind of up for a debate, but it has an electric light bulb in it right now, so you don't have to worry about fires or anything of that sort. Um, let's just take a moment to really look at the details on this newel post and notice how the stairs recede into the rest of the house. So moving on from the parlor, we come to this grand boxed archway once again in Tiger Oak. And this leads us straight into the dining room where we can see a board and batten finish on the walls with the woodwork. And there's also the original wallpaper, both on the walls and on the ceiling. And if we look up, there's something really special. There's a plaster medallion that has been painted in these really bright colors and that's possibly original to the house as well. So moving on to the kitchen, we pass again through another boxed arch, and this one is a bit more to a human scale. Um, once again, I'm 6'1", so this is probably about seven foot tall. So let's move on in here. And first I want to point out the original hutch that came with this kitchen. So this is part of the original kitchen. And over here we have another built-in that is also original to the house. And this has been painted white. Originally, it could have been painted or it would have matched the other hutch. That's kind of up for debate because in this area, it could have really gone either way historically. So if we turn around, we can actually see that there's a brand new kitchen here with beautiful quartz countertops, glass backsplash, navy cabinets, modern appliances, um, actually high-end modern stainless steel appliances. And off of the kitchen is actually a porch and we'll notice above the door that there is a transom. Now this doesn't have glass in it, but it is wood, so it could be pulled down to let in a nice summer breeze. So before we explore this side of the house, let's cut back to the dining room and the parlor. And I want to show you all the library. So let's just walk this way for a moment here. And as we cut through the space, once again, the scale is changing. Every archway in this house is different. This one is obviously a square arch. It would have originally had French doors on it. And now we're in what would have been the library. We can see these beautiful built-in bookcases. There's an old apothecary over here, the original floral wallpaper and another plaster medallion up on the ceiling. There are also two painted radiators in this room and chair rail that surrounds the entire space. And even better yet, you can imagine putting your desk in here and having all this natural light inside of this bay window as you read or 
work from home. So let's cut on through to this space. And this space could either be like a nursery or maybe it was originally a music room. We can see that there's not intricate wood molding in here, but we did just pass through a set of French doors. So that tells us that this possibly was a music room. As we leave this space, we're now coming to the butler's pantry, which is the room we just skipped off of the kitchen. And before we go anywhere else, I wanna show you guys these historical photos. So it's unknown exactly when these were all taken, but it's possible that they're from as early as when the house was originally built. And in this butler's pantry, there are some more built-ins. This one has a wallpaper motif on it and it's painted in period accurate colors with crystal knobs on it. And likewise for this one up here, it does not have a crystal knob, but it does have a latch which could possibly be original to this house. So coming a little further into the butler's pantry, we come to the true pantry for the kitchen. And this has beautiful organization for all of your spices, canned goods, dry goods, stuff like that. Leaving the pantry over here on this side of the butler's pantry is the full bathroom. And this space is really cool. So once again, we have these beautiful old wood doors. We have a built-in medicine cabinet that has been hand carved around the frame. Marble cladded walls, marble trim everywhere. Vintage wallpaper, tin ceiling. There's even a towel warming rack over here. There's also a vintage gravity toilet over here, as well as a porcelain pedestal sink and a clawfoot tub. So this bathroom is just really beautiful. Um, this is not something you would expect to find out here in the country because it's so lavish. Now let's go check out the upstairs. As we arrive at the top of the stairs, we are greeted by a window seat underneath a leaded stained glass window. As we turn the corner through here, we'll find the laundry room. So the laundry room has modern appliances in it, as well as a beautiful sink here, and some of the original hutches as well. So like this would have been original, the hutch over here, same with this marble topped hutch, possibly all original to the home. And then off of the laundry room is a cedar closet. So here is where you could store your clothes for the winter. They'll stay nice and fresh, keep moths away. All right, so now let's continue down the stair hall. And once again, we can see this beautiful period accurate wallpaper around us. We'll go into this first room here. And this room actually has a sliding pocket door. So you could open and close that. That's also original to the house. So as we pass through here, this first bedroom would probably be best used as a nursery or a home office, something to that likeness. This room also has a full closet and it has these beautiful hardware pieces here with engraved metal. So as we pass through this room, it's actually connected to another bedroom through this pocket door. So come on in here and let's take a look around. There's a beautiful window seat that is trimmed out with really thick woodwork. And of course, you can imagine that there are layers of brick between this wall and the exterior of the home. Also in this room is a giant built-in wardrobe. And I'm not going to open this because the owners of the home have some things stored in here, but we can really take a moment to appreciate the beautiful and intricate woodwork. The trim in this room is also really interesting. We'll notice that it's wallpaper that runs along the ceiling and along the top of the wall to give more of a three-dimensional illusion. So passing out of this room, we're back in the stair hall. And if we look over here, there's another one of these amazing window seats. And this is in the cupola that goes over the front door where we first entered. Moving out of the stair hall, we're now going to come to the master suite. And there's a beautiful pocket door here that is the original stain on one side painted on the other. And we'll notice that all of the trim in this room has been painted white. There are baseboard heaters, and this is a feature that is throughout the rest of the house as well, both radiators and baseboard heating. So in this master suite, there are also his and her closets. And these have crystal doorknobs on them, as well as upper closets to kind of mimic the theme of the transoms that we've seen throughout some of the other parts of this house. So if we look inside of this closet, there is wallpaper that's on the back, and that would have been period accurate as well. So as we come through this pair of French doors here, we now get to the other side of the bedroom. 
in the master suite is also this master bathroom. It has some of the original built-ins as well as a modern vanity with a large mirror, vintage wallpaper, beadboard, which is possibly also original to the house with a beautiful chair reel. As we come through here, we get to the area with the toilet and the walk-in shower. So we've just walked out of the kitchen and now we are on the veranda. And this is actually on the side of the property. And I don't know if I've mentioned this, but this house actually sits on a half acre corner lot. So there's a pretty large yard here for us to enjoy. Now stepping down from the porch, follow me on over this way. We'll come to a Brickton garden and also an old shed that's out here. This could have possibly been a coal room. Thank you all for watching. I really hope that everybody enjoyed this house tour. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time on This House.